of uh, what can I screw up today? No, I'm just playing. Me and my son, we're gonna take these old dusty mud flaps off and we're gonna make some mud flaps. <clears throat> it's my step deck. So I run the, uh, the cow mats on it. So I just started back pulling uh, my flatbed. It's been sitting, uh, a couple drivers was pulling it, lease drivers, and kind of neglected it. You know, they'll rip a mud flap off. They used to have stall mats on it, but they will rip a mud flap off and just throw a piece of junk mud flap back on there. But <clears throat> I've been got all the lights back working on it since I've grabbed it. Um, I'm going to put some mud flaps some star mud flaps on there and what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do away with this and I'm gonna mount my mud flaps up there so so all of this will be covered you will not see no tire behind it it's gonna look good when we get done uh, this is just one step of it I'll get it cleaned up I may end up putting two new two boxes on well not new but um, we got an old trailer that's no longer good that has two good two boxes on it. So I'll take those boxes off, move the bracket down, and put two nice two boxes on it. Is that Papa's trailer? Yep, that's Papa's curtain side. But yeah, let's get to tearing this thing down and get these flaps on already righty righty right on so we got one on and looks pretty darn good so I um I gotta go back to the store and get another stall mat for this side get it cut and put on and we'll be ready to rock and roll baby look at that yep no uh no chrome weights at the bottom i don't know if i'm gonna put them on there or not i may rock the nice long mat with no mud flap uh weight i got one um, even if I did want to put them on there, I only got one on me right now, but yep, my two wagons, I get this one in nice tip top shape. I'm going to eventually, I'm going to find somebody if they want to trade me these freight on the wheels for some uh, round hole wheel, the big hole round hole wheels. I actually got 10 of these Freightliner wheels. If uh, somebody wanted to trade. The guy that was pulling this trailer, he ran up north and you know, if you don't get that stuff off the wheels, it's just going to eat them up. And that's what happened. They need a good polishing. No, a good cleaning and polishing. But, yeah. Let me go to Tractor Supply. Get me another stall mat. And uh, try to get back in and get it done.
slots in there. So when you hit them curbs unintentionally, <laughs> all it does is whoop, slips right out and you put it back on now. You don't have to worry about I'm gonna make another one. Don't cut yourself now. You gotta worry about that. I ain't throwing at me. A big chunk. Now, we're ready to put it on. Our front plate. All right, completed project. I couldn't complete it yesterday. I went and got the stall mat, but ran out of daylight. I had some other stuff I had to do. So, this is the mat that I had already, and for some reason, I go to another um, tractor supply, and they only had this smooth rubber mat. So, I was going to just redo the other side, but I want to see if there's an actual a difference, because... As you can see, I've, I mean, this is the one I usually run because I got it on my step deck. And I have ripped, even though I cut slots in it, as you saw, I've ripped them. They were just, they were cats, they would start pulling out and then they will rip somewhere on the flap. So, I'm going to do a test. It, if I rip one of these, hopefully I don't. But I'm going to see if this one is more durable than this one. Maybe they they swapped for a reason. This one is just an inferior product. So that's why it's two different ones. You got the dimple and then just the smooth. But overall, looks pretty good I might add yeah tell me what y'all think maybe eventually I'll I'll throw some mud flat weights on now but I'm gonna rock the weightless black mats 
and um yeah tell me what y'all think looks good better than those little truck stop mats the whole tire is covered yeah oh and this is with the bags down you know you put air to it and they'll come up which they should and they probably sit I don't know about right there so once the bags pump up but that's how you want it when you park you want them them flaps to be down on the ground baby down on the ground they're not down on the ground on my step because it holds air in the bags down on the ground <laughs>